welcome to instructor for you i am kp minali guys if you are new to my channel i have brought the new series of videos containing curriculum of se and class 10 science in this playlist please do like share and subscribe my channel and do not forget to click the bell icon to get a lot of new videos guys this is the first video of lesson fours so let's start In our daily life, we perform various activities. Even to do some simple activities, we apply certain external agencies. Like everybody needs to open the door, so do you. Also everyone opens. Have you ever thought what is applied to pull and push the door? Guys, there are a number of examples where we apply the force. Like we walk from one place to another, we write by our pen, vehicles run after engine starts. Do you know what is used to do these all activities? Guys, what are these all applied things called? Obviously, these all what we apply, what makes our work possible, they all are called forts. Now again, let's imagine a baby holding a balloon, a player kicking a ball, a driver applying brake to stop the car, a lady pulling water from the well, and a car struck on wall. While holding a balloon, baby is applying the force. Player is applying force to kick the ball. The lady is applying downward force to pull water up. Driver is applying force to stop his moving car. And the car tried to change the position of the wall, but it could not. Here, from these all examples, we have to understand that force can change the shape of the body. The force can change the position of the body. That is, something to bring in motion and to bring in rest, the only one thing to be applied is called the force. Force can change direction of motion, that is, it turns the object moving towards left to right or towards east to west and also the speed of moving body. However, when a force is applied in rigid objects like a tree or a fixed wall, the effort will not be effective. So here, now we can define force as pull or push, which changes or tends to change the state of rest or uniform motion. The force has both magnitude and direction, so it is called the vector quantity. Its SI unit is Newton and CGS unit is dyne, and we have 1 Newton equal to 10 power 5 dyne, and we can say 1 Newton equal to 1 lakh dyne. Dear friends, have you ever slide a pile of books on the table? We feel some extra effort from somewhere which is opposite to direction of our force is applied in the book. When our force is more than such opposite force, then we can be able to slide the object. What is this opposite effort called? Have you ever lifted bucket full of water from the ground? Why do you feel difficult to lift it? What pulls it down? Sometimes you may have tried to separate two magnets from each other. You may have wondered there is nothing in the middle of the magnets but you feel like something is pulling magnets together. Well, there is nothing to wonder now. They all are because of the force which acts upon them. We feel difficult to slide a load because of opposite frictional force. We feel difficult to lift a bucket of water because of force of gravity. Right? Similarly, it is difficult to separate magnets because of magnetic force. Dear friends, till now you may have observed some forces given by various objects with their different origin. So, on the basis of physical proximity, these all forces can be classified into two different types. Do you know what are they? Well, they are contact force and non-contact force. Forces such as a frictional force, a collision force, pull or push all these occur only in physical contact with each other. Whereas, forces such as the gravitational force, electrostatic force, magnetic force, etc. do not involve physical contact between the objects, but they act through the space between them. So they are called non-contact force. Remember, these forces increase with increase in their masses and decrease with the increase in distance between them. Finally, I hope you understood about the force, its types and its effects. Now, we'll discuss about one of the non-contact forces that is gravitational force or, or gravitation which acts, which we feel, which has many many consequences but we can't see what exactly is applying the force. 
really it's interesting isn't it okay on the next video i will be back with all these till then stay safe take care bye bye